Back now to our top story tonight. The administration releasing the first Obamacare enrollment numbers just a few hours ago. Less than 27,000 people have selected a plan from the feds. Less than 80,000 people have signed up through the state exchanges. A few weeks ago, one of the architects of Obamacare joined me, and I asked Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel about this very is issue. Watch. We're not on track. We're, we're not on anywhere near on track for that right now. Excuse the latest me, numbers that not... we have, and Ms. Sebelius won't tell us exactly what it is, but the latest numbers that we have it... from the research services suggest it's about 129,000 people. Ms. Kelly, have as I have up. repeatedly said, whatever the number is today is totally irrelevant because people are not going to buy until round about Thanksgiving right. for a January 1st start Here's line. My last so question you can to you. project you cannot project from today's enrollment Understood. what okay, it's going to be like point. when we need to. Here's my last and question you, for you. So you're so you're yeah. claiming we're not on track. You have no idea whether I, we're I on track. I wish I could know for That's sure, but Kathleen Sebelius won't tell me. But now we know. Back with me tonight, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, Vice Provost of the University of Pennsylvania, and he also served as Special Advisor for Health Policy to the Director of the White House and Office of Management and Budget. Uh, doctor, it's great to see you again. So now we have more information, and your reaction to the latest numbers out tonight is what? Look, I think they're disappointing. I think uh, it's not that uh, confusing, given the fact that the website wasn't working and the publicity campaign to make people aware of it and what to do uh, was uh, put on hold until the website uh, begins to work uh, reasonably well. Uh, so I'm not that surprised. Remember, we have five, uh, four and a half months uh, from today to get uh, uh, to the end of the open enrollment period, and it's the end of the open enrollment period, which is fine. This is like watching a tea kettle and saying, is it boiling yet? Is it boiling yet? Um, and that's not very helpful. Well, but I do it's, think it's, the most, it's, it's I do very think, concerning, but let me show you this number can, that I went over you, with Mark Tuesday. Can you give me a chance? I, I do think the important thing. I gave you a chance. Let's thing. have a question and answer. Well, the interview works better that way. Five million people have already been canceled. Okay, so I'm, ta I'm not talking about the seven million who you guys wanted we, to We don't up. have, that's not a reliable number. Million. It's That's at least three million, number. and the, the reports out tonight are that it's five million people who have been canceled. So Only far. on Fox is it if five that million. Is the truth. Okay, fine. So let's go with three million. You can deny the problem all you want, sir, but the data no. is out there. Let's. So for if five million so, people tonight by our what? numbers, if that is the case, can we put the full screen back on the board? Then you need 156,000 people to sign up every day for the next 32 days just to break even. That's not even talking about the seven million who you guys needed from the get-go to make Obamacare no. work. No, that's not right, Megan. You've got the numbers wrong. Seven million includes the people who were expected from the individual market to come on as well. Uh, so it's not just seven oh. million and the number from the individual market. That's the first point. The second point is you have to remember in the individual market before Obamacare, the insurance companies were canceling people all the time. That's one of the reasons we wanted the uh, exchanges to work. And I agree with you. Without the exchanges working, this cancellation policy is worrisome. It was worrisome before Obamacare. It's worrisome today. The key thing is to get the exchanges working, to get the website working, so those people have a place to go where they'll get better insurance at a more reasonable right. rate okay, overall. Understood. There's a lot in, in your answer. Let me ask you this first. Are you admitting then that it was foreseen that the individual insurance market would essentially collapse and that that was a key facet of Obamacare working? It's not a matter of foreseen. The insurance companies always cancel policies before. It is a matter. They did it before. It, the don't, fact don't, of the matter. No, 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 let's let, let me just, you, you know as well as I do that the that the mass cancellations we have seen tonight are hurting a lot of Americans. They're very upset, and their relationship with their doctor has been severed as a result of coverage in Ms. many Kelly, instances. Miss Kelly, you don't seem to remember. You keep the downplaying it, sir, but it's happened. No. My, and now you say foreseeability is irrelevant. It is relevant. They want to know if you Maybe knew. Maybe you would stop yelling at me. Did you know, or uh, didn't you? You don't see. You don't see 
that before Obamacare, those kind of cancellations happened all the time. You never covered them. They were very common. So, it's, so to manner, you, the it, two let, things are totally disconnected. You keep interrupting. Isn't there any manners I, sir, here? Sir, it's a back and forth. I'm not just going to give you the platform for a soliloquy. Are, are you saying the two things are totally unrelated, Obamacare and the five million, what, pick your number, of cancellations in the individual market, totally unrelated? No, I'm saying, look, the insurance industry was not forced to cancel anyone. They canceled people before, okay. and they see this, they see the individual market as going away, and they're okay. getting out of it. I, I will, I will give you that they're point going for the, to the purposes exchange. of discussion. Okay, I, I'll go with you on that. Let's say that is Good. the case. Did you foresee that happening? I think when you change the market, things change, and That's businesses an make answer. different decisions. Did you foresee yeah, that it happening? Yeah, it is. I saw them going to the exchanges because that's a better market for everyone, including them. Okay, but that's different. Going to the exchanges on their own because yeah. they saw it and said, I like it, it's better than what I have. That's not yeah. the same as the insurance company saying, you are canceled and now you're on your own. Did you foresee that happening? Th that, that is absolutely, they have canceled because they don't see answering. that as a... They don't see that as a growing market. That's you their are view. Not answering. They think the exchange is rising. Sir, you're not answering. You're, you're not. I am answering. Their business decision says the individual market is dying. We're going to go to the exchange. That's how they're playing this. Okay. So when, when the president said to the people, if you like your plan, you can keep it, uh, period, you believe he genuinely believed that in his mind. And that he the did not foresee the, 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 the mass cancellations we're seeing it's, now. Whether, he foresee, whether the, uh, you could anticipate what business would do is irrelevant. The Affordable Stop Care Act... Stop saying that, because I'll tell you what's relevant to my viewers. The, I think I know my viewers, and I think they think this is relevant. So can't you just assume with I, me for the purposes so of me, our discussion that I'm right and give yeah, us an let, answer? No, I'm going to tell you. The Affordable Care Act did not require any single insurance company to cancel a plan. Okay. They okay, decided, I'm going they with you on that. They decided to do that. I'm they giving decided you that to for the do that of for tonight. business reasons. I'm giving you the that for the. Okay? They so decided to, to do listen, it for listen, business listen, reasons. Listen, listen. I am giving you that, okay? Good. So let's, it's all the insurance company's fault. They, they're bad. They did something bad. I didn't say they're why, bad. I just why, said that they made a business all right, decision. Fine. Why didn't you foresee that? And why didn't you plan against it? And why didn't you say to the American people, you need to know what's going to happen on the individual insurance market because it's going to be very relevant to your life, your, your health, and your children's health? Because we were offering them a better platform to buy insurance called the exchange. That okay. was the rationale. Okay. All right. That's, that's, listen, okay, I appreciate the answer. I want to ask well, you this. Sure. This was not an environment which was hospitable to setting up uh, the exchanges. I, I know. I, you I, there was a lot you of and your colleagues were constantly criticizing, trying to underfund it you know and what, trying sir? to make a sure it didn't work. <laughs>